So inevitably, this being me, we had a little bit of a technical interruption. Um, where was I? Yes, yeah, so I was describing these two cheap and cheerful Chinese tube amps and how, you know, the uh, aristocracy of the audiophile world loves to shit on them, ignoring the price point completely. Um, I'm not at all trying to convince you that these are in any way equivalent to a legitimate tube system. However, um, pair them with the correct speakers, high efficiency, with a relatively straightforward DAC, and you would be amazed at how far China's come. They've, they've got their shit together. To me, it's almost like China is going through the Japanese revolution or the industrial revolution of Japan to a certain degree. Nonetheless, um, what else can I say about these clutches? Uh, I had them hooked up to this one, the 3 tube version, initially. I was very disappointed. Um, once I sort of passed, I don't know, 11.30, 12, flirting with 1 o'clock on the volume dial, uh, there was just an astronomical amount of unpleasant distortion. So I'm not sure if uh, I need to investigate better tube options or what the case is. So, I switched back to my original PA1501A APPJ2 dual tube amp and that solved everything. This is a Beresford Cayman Seg digital audio converter. Beresford is a British company. I highly recommend them. And uh, this is a magical pair. This is geared, this video is geared towards those who, you know, have historically thought, well, I would really love to experiment with tubes, but man, there's just too much money. This is a legitimate option, provided, and I mean this seriously, provided you pair them with the correct speakers. If I were to hook these up to my, you know, 4 ohm, 84 decibel uh, ELAC Unify UV5s, I'd be lucky to hear nothing more than scratch. Same goes for pretty much any other speaker that's south of 92, 93 decibels that I don't. I was intrigued by these RP400Ms. It seems as though the internet is awash in the RP500 and especially the RP600M reviews. More technical difficulties. For some reason, Nikon just loves to say, Hey David, you're making a video today? That's cool. How about I break? Enough complaining. Um, where did I leave off? Uh, oh yeah, I was referencing these clips RP400Ms. If you haven't noticed or and or interested in buying a mid to high entry level high level bookshelf, you will have no doubt heard of the Klipsch uh, RP500 and especially the RP600Ms, along with the Elac Unify UV5s, you know some kefs, monitors of that nature. These are sort of the forgotten uh, new addition to the Klipsch lineup, which is the RP400Ms. Uh, dimensionally, as you can see, they're very modest, built like a tank, but they only weigh nine pounds. So dimensionally speaking, they fit like a glove alongside my Elac Unified UB5s. So this is kind of a, uh, a, a double whammy in the, t in, in the context of review where I'm giving you the ultimate guide in combination of, uh, of uh, equipment if indeed you are dead set on entry level tubes this is the cheapest and most cheerful whilst maintaining a certain degree of respectable quality way to achieve a legitimate genuine tube sound without you know the uh, without compromising the, the the fidelity of sound so to speak so without further ado I will give you a demo and I'll sign off with some, you know, more generic observation slash summary of the whole piece of kit here. And uh, hopefully you all will enjoy this video. I will link uh, everything in the description to this Beresford, to this, it's on Amazon, still for sale, mind you, and these Clutch rp 400 dims. So I hope you enjoy. Cheers.
about you giving me a new phone? Yeah. Tubes get kind of toasty. All right, well, that pretty much wraps up this kind of general synopsis of uh, the few items I have making these uh, these uh, Klipsch 400s work. They're obviously an underrated speaker. Nobody talks about them, but the moral of the story, don't be swayed by what people tell you about these uh, Amazon tube amps. No doubt there are plenty of absolutely garbage ones on Amazon, but the APPJ series, sold under that name, I believe it's also branded as many other names on eBay, particularly this model and make, um, seem to be built very, very well. It's heavy. You have these two big transformers on it. These tubes do indeed get very hot. Um, I have a simple DAC. And that's it. The rest is just, you know, nothing fancy. Blue jeans, power cable, interconnects, and banana plugs into the uh, Klipsch. Uh, so, yeah, um, this kind of busts the myth that if you want to enter into the world of tubes, you have to spend a lot of money. Am I comparing these to options that cost three, four, five times as much sometimes? Absolutely not but they're not nearly the dreadful disaster that a lot of the audiophile snobs make it out to be. And I would highly encourage you to check them out on Amazon, get a pair of 8 ohm highly efficient speakers, preferably 90 dB and above, and purchase a simple DAC, and you'll be good to go. So I hope this video was a little bit interesting and informative to those who have been curious about these APBJ tube amps. I'll keep you posted as to um, the other model I have with the three tubes and see if there's any upgrades I can do. But as of now, this is definitely your boy. So, hope this video was informative and I look forward to hearing your guys' input. Cheers.